रेडी स्टार्ट सर नाउ द क्वेश्चन राइजेस एंड द अमेंडमेंट विच ऑनरेबल मेंबर हैज ब्रॉट फॉरवर्ड ऑल्सो रेज द क्वेश्चन नेमली टू वाट एक्सटेंट द सुप्रीमेसी ऑफ पार्लियामेंट हैज टू बी एक्सेप्टेड सर एट वन स्टेज वेन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैड स्ट्रक डाउन द बैंक नेशनलाइजेशन एक्ट एंड द प्राइवी पर्स एबोल्यूशन मेजर देर वॉज ए डोमिनेंट बॉडी ऑफ थिंकिंग इन द कंट्री दैट पार्लियामेंट शुड बी सुप्रीम पीपल दैन सेड एज एमिनेंट जस्टिस हैड सेड that the constitution of a country should not be what the judges say but what the people say the feeling was like what president roosevelt had said namely that the courts should not be a third house a third chamber a super legislature a super parliament on policy question parliament is supreme sir then there has been further thinking on this question and this constitution amendment bill also raises this question so far as parliament's power to amend the constitution is concerned particularly where individual rights are concerned where property rights are concerned and where parliament is passing legislations for the harijans for the backward classes for the scheduled castes for the small and marginal farmers for minorities and so on that power should be supreme unchallengeable and immutable this should be beyond the reach of judicial review but there is another question the question that has now arisen is this among individual rights there are some rights that is the property right which is a subsidiary right and which has to be curbed in social interest but among individual right there are some basic rights like the right of free speech right to form associations certain cultural rights rights of the minorities and so on the question therefore arises that when we say parliament is supreme and parliament's legislations should not be checked or should not be judicially reviewed or should not be set aside or should not be declared ultra wires the constitution by the courts then we say that so far as parliament's socio economic legislations are concerned like abolishing landlordism curbing monopolies curbing restrictive practices curbing discriminatory practices curbing exploitation of the weaker and backward sections and so on the courts should not come into the picture and they should not be able to interfere but sir so far as the personal rights of the citizen are concerned that is to say right of not being detained etc require a fundamental thinking in the light of the experience the latest constitution amendment bill which has been passed bases itself on the assumption that there is a basic structure of the constitution which cannot be touched the basic structure which enshrines the faith of a secular state a republican state and a domestic state democratic state a state committed to social change and advancement 
towards social objectives and social goals therefore this basic structure is there then the question arises that through the parliament is supreme yet so far as this basic structure is concerned whether judicial review is permissible on this question if parliament by a majority vote change this basic structure whether the courts can look into this question sir this is one of the major questions that arise here this arose when the last constitution amendment bill was passed and this also arises now in this bill of my friend the question is can the courts look into this question so far the government have proceeded on the assumption that there is a certain basic structure like the concept of republicanism concept of secularism concept of democracy and so on which should be immutable sir so far as these things are concerned i think it is an accepted position everybody accepts these are immutable the question arises what are the modalities by which we ensure that these are immutable that democracy is immutable how do we ensure that those are immutable that secularism is immutable that democracy is immutable how do we ensure that these are immutable without defining what secularism is what democracy is then you will be giving a very wide untrammeled unguided and unchartered power to the court to define these things and then say that according to the definition of these various concepts which are fundamental concepts and which are part of the basic structure this particular law is invalid therefore parliament must be very clear and careful in its mind that is if parliament wants to give power to the courts then the courts will review all laws in the light of the basic structure parliament cannot then pass a law in nego in negation to this basic structure that these concepts relating to the basic structure must be defined and it has to be ascertained how far the courts can go into them this is one aspect the other aspect that arises is this honorable member had suggested a parliamentary committee to go into the constitutionality of the statutes of the parliament passes this is a very controversial position for this reason that we have got a quasi federal structure we have not the council of states we represent the states the states have certain rights which are under the law